think MMA, MMA show, CM Punk, you know what's going to come up? Um, you were, I wrote in an interview, I read in an interview that you were speaking highly of him. You said, I never met the guy, we, we, you know, we, we met here and there, but you know, you saw a documentary on him, and you said, man, it would be great if I would make a comeback. I'm not saying I'm going to make a comeback, right. but him and CM Punk, why is that? Well, I just like what he brings, uh, just uh, as far as his, what he does in the ring. Uh, very controlled, very precise, very good, great psychology. Uh, and on a microphone, you know, half the, half the battle is you know, you've got to be in an angle that grabs people by the heart and soul to get yep. them in the building. Also, that comes with, with, with great promos. Yep. CM Punk cuts a great promo. So him spinning off me, me spinning off him, that spells money. How do you think he's going to do? Mix my thoughts. Man, it remains to be seen. Yep. And now, of course, I'll be cheering for him. Yep. And like I said, I know CM Punk is not like we're best friends, uh, but I wish him well. And it'll be, I'll be real excited to see his debut. Did you ever think when, pro, uh, for, when Mixed Martial Arts came along that you said, you know what? Man, I would have loved to try that as well. You know, maybe, maybe you know, back in the day, you know, in South Texas, and, and had the sport been a little bit more evolved, then it, you know, that, that like at the level it is now. Uh, so I think I had the mindset or the, the killer instinct like I did in my football days to, you know, be as good as I could have been. Mm -hmm. That's not predicting success. I had the mindset for it, but certainly who knows if I would have uh, could have adapted the skill set and the training. You know, it turned out to be a good football player or turned out to be a great pro wrestler. So I found the right calling. You know, I, I truly believe that as, as a pro wrestler and knowing how to deal with the audience and being comfortable in the ring helps a lot. When you look at a Sakuraba who is a pro wrestler and he comes in, beat four Gracies, I think that gives you an edge. Well, no, it's always interesting because I, I wonder, you know, I've, I've been to several of the UFC fights and, uh, you know, they're watching the fighters walk to the ring, you know, what they're feeling, how much of that crowd does it affect them. Because as a pro wrestler, you're listening to the crowd. That's yep. how you make your decisions in the ring. But as a fighter, I always wondered if you, you drew upon the adrenaline, the rush of that crowd. And you know, sometimes the MMA crowds are funny. You can see two great fighters out there having a hell of a fight, but basically canceling each other out yep. because of what they're doing. Yep. And the crowd will start booing. Yep. They're fighting their asses off, yep. but they're canceling each other out. So, and you know, are you hearing that when you're in the octagon and that's going down? And does that affect you? Hey, I need to do something to get these people up. Yep. Yep. What, 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 what other... Uh Pro wrestlers, which you think would do great to mix martial arts? If he would say, okay, that's the guy, you know, if he would do MMA. Well, would. I think if it's another day and age, uh, and it was a few years ago, Kurt Angle, because of his amateur background, when yep. he go medal uh, in the Olympics, would have been a guy. Uh, I don't know how Undertaker would have done, but he's a huge <laughs> oh, yeah, fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a huge fan, so I got to throw him in there. All right. All right. Will CM Punk be a success in the UFC and you gentlemen say? To be determined. Best answer I can give you. I think he's going to sell a lot of tickets. Yeah. So we'll see how he goes first fight in two, three. We'll see what happens. Well, he paid his dues in the sport, the same as you did. And when I heard what you did, you know, in an interview, you know, traveling all the time, like nine shows a, a week. I mean, if a guy with a work ethic like that commits himself to a sport like this, it should be and good. And he does have a high work ethic, yeah. but I mean, he's not a spring chicken. I mean, he's been around for a while. Yeah. And, you know, 